Praise God. This is Prophetess Deanna Dixon. I am back. Praise God. Praise God. Okay, so basically I want to start with um I want to start with some scriptures first. And I'm gonna take my time and walk through this thing. And if you see my title, and trust me, I have <laughs> oh, y'all already know people are not having it right now. Women are out of order with titles. God's restoring order to the body of Christ. Period. End of story. It's not just a me thing. It's a us thing. Whether you believe it or not, that's on you. Oh, trust me. Because you know God's going to have his way sooner or later, right? God, God will make it. God, uh, God is exposing everything. That's our end of story. God is respond, disposing everything. All right. So I want to read a couple of scriptures here. First Timothy 2 and 12. All right. And uh, actually, I'm going to go. I'm going to start with 1 Timothy 3 and 2. A bishop then must be blameless, the husband of one wife. If we say that we are actually understanding, okay, most Christians, they believe the Bible, right? So this is Bible. You understand what I'm saying? So 1 Timothy 3, 12, 3, 2 says, a bishop then must be blameless, the husband of one wife wife, vigilant, sober, and of good behavior, given to hospitality, apt to teach. End of story. That tells it all right there. Then 1 Timothy 2.12 is a New Testament passage, and it says, but I suffer not a woman to teach, not to usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence. Now, that didn't say preach, that said teach. Come on, somebody, let's let, line by line, precept by precept, right? We're doing stuff in order, right? Let me read, let me read that one more time. But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to urge up authority over the man, but to be in silence. Now he said, teach, not preach. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So there is a difference whether you like it or not, because some people will say, Well, women are not supposed to preach. I doubt it and highly doubt that because remember some of the women in the Bible, and you can do these research on your own. Deborah, Deborah was a judge, prophetess Anna. I mean, we can go on and on about the women that God used. So don't say that God won't use women. So there's a fine line to it. And I think what we've done over the years is we just kind of like shaded the line in and God is not pleased with that. Now I'm going to go ahead. I said it the other day, I denounced my title as apostle because God showed me that was out of order. End of story. So now let me go ahead and talk about the cursed thing among us. And for those that want me to say it, hold on, because I, I feel a, a tugging on my, my spirit. Let me clarify this. A woman should not have the office of an apostle, an elder, a bishop, a pastor. Now you can be co-pastor, but he has to be pastor. So what am I saying? We should not be over a man, period. And I, a lot of you, oh my God, like I told you, they had this woman that told me, she said, well, that was for you. That's not for us. I don't know how you, you can say that, but let me go ahead and walk this thing out the way God want me to. All right. I'm going to start in Joshua seven, verse one says, but the children of Israel committed a trespass in the accursed thing for Achan, the son of Kama, the son of Zabda, the son of Zerah of the tribe of Judah took of the accursed thing and the anger of the Lord was kindled against the children of Israel. God said, because we are allowing this, we are under a curse. That's why you're not seeing power in the body of Christ. That's why you're not seeing healing in the body of Christ. That's why you're not seeing deliverance in the body of Christ because everything is out of order. And God said, I'm restoring order and you can't stop me because I'm God. Hallelujah. And that's what thus said the Lord. Hallelujah. So let me continue. The children of Israel, that is one of them, by a very unusual figure, where final is ascribed to the um, disciples, was described as Ju Judas only. Now, the accursed thing, I, I want to I wanna tell you what a accursed thing means. That is in taking some of the forbidden and accursed goods. Well, when you're under a curse, that's doing something that God did not tell you to do. As a matter of fact, it's contrary. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. As a matter of fact, even in his word, what does he say? Honor thy father and thy mother. As a matter of fact, you know what? God told me to, to go to another one. Hold on. Oh, man. Let me do this first and I'm going to go back to it because I don't want to lose my place here. So anyway, against the children of Israel, why did God punish the whole society for this one man sin? Achan had took the um, accursed thing, not everybody of the children of Israel, but God punished the whole children of Israel for one man's sin. Oh, come on, somebody. Let me continue. Let me continue. 
All of them were punished for their own sins, were of each of sufficient proportion. But God took this occasion to inflict the punishment upon the whole society, partly because diverse of them might be guilty of this sin, either by coveting what he actually did or by concealing his fault, which is probable could not be unknown to others, or by soaring it out, endeavoring to purge themselves from it. That's what time we are in, partly to make the sin more hateful as being the cause of such dreadful judgments, and partly to oblige all the members of every society to be more circumspect in ordering their own actions. Notice that word order and more diligent to prevent the miscarriages of their brethren, which is great benefit to them and the whole society. So when we're in out of order, we're supposed to tell our brothers, we're supposed to tell our sisters so they don't make the same mistake or they stop making the same mistake. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Verse 2, and Joshua sent the man from Jer Jericho to Aha, which is besides Beth Haven, on the east side of Bethel, and spake unto them, saying, Go up and view the country. And the men went up and viewed them. To A, and they were going to the city of Ah, but into the country belonged it to them. And they returned to Joshua, and he said, Let all the people go up. So they went up, and Achai actually, so I'm going to go ahead and just shorten the story. So they went up to take the land. And God told them, do not take of the accursed things. Now, he said the fine gold that will come into the treasure of God. So that actually Joshua did that. But then Achan, he, he, he kind of hid some. And what happened is they went to battle with 3,000 men and they lost. And Joshua, he fell up on the ground. And he said, wait a minute, what's going on? What's going on, God? God said, I have something against thee. And because I have something against thee, I am not with thee. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because I have something against thee, I'm not with thee. And, God, and Joshua said, what's going on? He said, somebody have took and taken of the accursed thing. And so he brought all the Israel. He, he, he brought them all out of their tents. He said, nah. And, he, and God had already told him who it was. So he went to Akon and he said, if I have favor with God, tell me the truth. So God, God will ask you to tell, God will let you tell the truth. God will give you a chance to tell the truth. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. He said, yeah, I sinned against God. I took it. And I never forget. This was so real when I was reading this. He says, because you have troubled Israel this day, God should trouble you and your family. So they took him outside the tent and they burned everything, even the accursed thing. And then God was with the children of Israel again. Case in point, until we have order in the body of Christ, God will not be totally with us. Let me tell you something. I'm walking this thing out whether you like it or not. You could say what you want. How is it that the world is out doing the church in this hour? Hold on. Let me walk this thing through for real. Isn't it funny how you would, I mean, Megan the Stallion and all this stuff. And the reason why I know about it, because most of y'all Christians posting on your timeline. Y'all ain't ready for me right now. Most people are talking about what the world doing and not what the church doing. How many got delivered? How many got healed? It's like the world is out doing the church and that should not be said the Lord. The church should have power in this hour, but you don't because guess what? We are among the accursed thing. What is the accursed thing? Out of orderness. And I'm not talking about just a title. I'm talking about what you're doing behind closed doors. Most pastors, most preachers, most teachers, y'all know what y'all doing. Y'all dirty. I'm going to say it like I'm saying it. Y'all dirty. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. I was I was going through Facebook. Was it was yesterday or day before yesterday. And I saw these pastors with these hand signs. I'm not going to do those hand signs. That's not of God. Jesus never did hand sign. Let me just break this thing. You, you, you're blown to a, a fraternity, a sorority, and all this stuff. That is not of God. I don't care whether you like it or not. Y'all know I'm going to tell the truth up in here. All this cult stuff into the church. The church is under a curse, said God. And until we repent, we won't see revival. Hallelujah. So God said, okay, I'm telling you what does said the Lord. He said, either you do it willingly or I'll make you do it. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm telling you what does said the Lord. Either you do it willingly or I will make you do it. Because my church, he said, I'm coming back for a clean, a unspotted church. That means getting it together, getting it in order. Too much of, let me be real with you, too much of, and, and I got to tell y'all something. Stop sending me stuff. Stop sending me stuff in my inbox. Because who y'all think is powerful, when I see it, I see curses. Oh, I don't want to call no names right now because God didn't give me the authority. But it's some of the top people on Facebook that y'all be sending me. 
That's not a true prophet, y'all. That's not a true apostle, y'all. When y'all send me that stuff, I see in the spirit and ain't no jealousy because I love true men and women of God or because we in this thing together. But when you dirty, you dirty and I see you. Hallelujah. When something is not of God, it's not of God. I don't care if it was me. Hallelujah. When you have spiritual insight, you can't help but see what's dirty. Hallelujah. So God is saying, I'm, 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 I'm uncovering everything, everything, everything. Hallelujah. <sighs> We're under a curse. I'm telling you what God's saying. Until we get it right, until we make this thing right by God. Now, you don't have to do like I did and come publicly. But because I'm a public figure, I had no choice. Because whatever you do in public and in private, God says, I'll make you do it before the people. Hallelujah. So every woman apostle, every woman elder, every woman bishop, every woman pastor, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do for you. As a servant of the living God, I charge thee by God to do what you're supposed to do. Willingly or unwillingly, may the Lord provoke you any way he has to, because you are not going to stop the body of Christ. You are not going to stop us from going to our destiny. God won't let you. Ain't got nothing to do with me. So if you're thinking it's me, you, you, you don't even understand what I just said. Hallelujah from the power of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is restoring order in this hour and there's nothing you can do to stop it because he's God. He says, I'm the great I am. I am the beginning and the end. Is there anything too hard for me? Hallelujah. God is so good because he'll give you a chance to get that thing right or he'll expose you, period, in the story. Hallelujah. 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 And I think the only reason that he didn't hit me hard like that is because I was a willing vessel. Yes, Lord, I'll do it, God. I'll be the first. I don't care. I don't care what they say. I don't care what they do. I don't care how they. Hallelujah. This stuff is real. This is not a game. It's not for show. People are dying in them streets. And let me tell you something. It's sad when all these rappers are dying, all these people are dying, people are getting killed, so much lawlessness. And you want to know that's the church fault. It's our fault because the power of God is supposed to be in us and around us and through us in the presence. Because I don't care what you say, God is still real. And I tell you, he'll stop anything. Hallelujah. I've seen it. I've seen it. I've seen it. Y'all think I'm kidding? Let me tell you something. Right after I released that I was renouncing that apostleship. All hell broke loose. I don't mind telling y'all the truth. I don't know what happened to my dad, but I saw my dad almost, y'all know, I don't even want to say the word. And I prayed and I said, God, what is going on? And I prayed and I prayed and God stopped that thing. Then we got a call. His brother is on hospice. Then we got another call. I said, devil, you messing with my family? Hallelujah. You don't know who you messing with because I am, I have a covenant with God. And since I have a covenant with God, you can't do this. Hallelujah. Without the permission of God. I don't know. If, I think it was a test, but I, I held my own. I did not fold. Yes, I was hurt, but I said, God, 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 if you be God, hallelujah, then do what you do, whether yea or nay. Hallelujah. In order to have the power of God, you got to move with God. You got to be obedient with God. This is not a game. And I'm going to be honest with you. Too many people doing it for show. Too many people doing it for money. I see y'all up here. Y'all be doing so much. And I'm, I'm like, God, what are they doing? I see right through you. I see right through you. And God going to get y'all the ones that's doing it for money. God going to get y'all the ones that's that's preaching the word and having sex in the background. Oh, yes, I see a lot of y'all doing that. God going to get you. God going to expose you. God going to do it. Hallelujah. He'll make you expose yourself. Hmm. Hallelujah. Y'all think this is a game? This ain't no game up in here. Let me tell y'all something. What's coming? God is not playing because God said, I'm going to do it. All my people, just like Akon. Akon was not going to stop the children of Israel from going into their destined land, which Joshua had to do. So God removed Akon. Don't you understand that God is giving you a chance or God will remove you, but you're not going to stop God's children. You're not going to stop the church of God because guess what? We got to go in our destiny. And this year is the year of destiny. Let me tell you something, the, the word for 2021. He says from desolation to restoration. He said, but the world should be desolate. He said, but my church, my church is coming alive like never before. You're not going to be able to do what you've been doing, God says. You're not going to be able to sin like you've been sinning, God says. You're not going to be able to do that stuff. Hallelujah. Because God is revealing everything in front of everybody. Hallelujah. God's not playing. Y'all sitting up there playing. 
Y'all sitting up there playing. A lot of you playing. And and I told y'all, if you remember last year, I told y'all, I say, if y'all thought 2020 was something, 2021, how did it start off? That foolishness, which was all a setup, by the way. That wasn't real. That's a setup. You guys, they have so much more planned this year. And we have to be together in unity. We have to do this thing the way God says in order to have power from on high. I'm telling you what does said the Lord. Hallelujah. You can't be anointed and appointed without following God's instructions all the way. Not halfway, but all the way, thus said the Lord. Hallelujah. This stuff is real. Oh, thank you, Lord. I hear you. Offense. God says, stop being offended too. Y'all get so mad. Y'all hold on to that. That's not of God. He says, be ye angry, but sin not. Forgive. Y'all got to start forgiving people. I'm serious. And all this get back spirit, God says, vengeance is mine, said the Lord, not yours. You don't have the authority, God says, I did not give it to you. Hallelujah. I'm telling you what does said the Lord. Hallelujah. Who oh, praise God up in here. Praise God up in here. I'm telling you what God say. So that's all God told me to say. I got to get up out of here, but I'm telling you right now. God is a God of order all day long. It does not matter what you say or what you think. God says that we have to strip ourselves from stuff that is not of God. And that means everything. That means everything. That means everything. Let me tell you how they didn't did, especially women of God. Y'all putting on fake hair, fake nails, fake eyelashes. And yet you're talking about that you're a pure woman of God. How is it when you have attachments? Oh, come on, somebody. Let me tell you about them attachments. Them attachments will stop you and stop the anointing of God over your life. And I'm not, hold on. I'm not bashing nobody. I'm not bashing nobody. I'm not trying to act like I'm all that. That's not what I'm doing. I'm saying it's time to strip. It's time to strip. It's time to strip, said the Lord. Hallelujah. This stuff is real. God's trying to anoint the body of Christ like never before because he says revival will be. He said, but first repentance got to come. I repent, God. I repent. I repent. Correct me. Correct everything. Hallelujah. But then nobody want to be corrected for real because you're too scared how you're going to look. What people going to say? What people going to do? They're going to do that anyway. Good, bad, and different. That's what people do. And y'all better be careful. Let me tell y'all one last thing before I get up off here. They're truly sending people. They're truly sending people. Y'all have no idea. Let me clarify that. They're plants. They come into your life to disrupt your life. It could be a man or a woman trying to get close to you, to see your plans, to see who you are. It, really trying to taint your anointing. Let me just cut through the chase. Trying to taint your anointing. I see them, and, and I'm going to be honest with you. No access granted. I'm not even letting them near me. Mm -mm, those days are over. I see you. You are not going to get close to me just to destroy me or try to tank me. Y'all better understand what I just said up in here. They sending them. They sending them. They paying them to do it too. So when you see someone, and I, I put it on Facebook yesterday, how you know your spirit don't feel right? And they keep trying to force themselves in your life. And you're like, well, dude, what's, what's wrong with you? Even a female, what's wrong with you? You're not supposed to. Let me tell you something, how you know it's God. When something is God. God was signing with his peace. You have peace about it. No peace, no God. Stop being desperate. I don't know why God got me going here, but I'm saying it. Women, I know how lonely it gets. You can't tell me nothing. I understand. Some want a husband. Some just want a friend. And everybody want to knock the boots, by the way. Some just really want somebody to talk to. Women, you got to be careful. You got to be real careful because guess what? Men can see desperate written all over your face. And some of y'all acted real desperate right about now. And women, men too. You got to go to God and ask God. And you have to be fair specific. Because I'm telling you, the enemy hears your prayer sometimes. When I, when I really want something answered, I prayed in the inside. And, and to be honest with you, I asked God to send me a sign. It's just between me and him. I don't utter it. Because let me tell you something. I say something. I say it on here, as a matter of fact. Y'all remember, I think, I don't remember. Y'all ain't going to believe these fools that's coming in the inbox and this way and that way. And I'm like, first of all, that's out of order. Because God is going to tell me and God is going to prepare me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But you have to first spend time with God. Y'all not spending time with God. 
Don't let, thank you, Lord, I hear you. Don't let what has happened with this fake COVID, I say fake COVID, meaning that it's real, but it's man-made and all these things that's happening, the enemy is trying to throw us off. You see, it's a distraction. And sometimes you don't know that you're distracted until it's finished distracting you. So you can't hear God. You can't see God. You can't trust God. So what happens when you get into panic? You start doing things. You start saying things just to survive. Some of you are doing anything for money, working two or three jobs, doing all that stuff. You're tired. Don't, don't have a greedy spirit. God says, I'll, I'll keep you. I'll protect you. I'll make sure you have what you have. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Don't let all this stuff make you miss God. These stimulus checks. Some of y'all just, I don't even know what to say. I, I guess I ain't going to say nothing about it because y'all going to do what y'all going to do. Praise God. All right, I am done. When God's, that's another thing. When the anointing of God is finished, you should finish. Some of y'all just... <laughs> Uh, uh and people can people can tell when it's over. Come on, somebody. So I'm gonna begin up on here talking a lot of stuff what God has told me to take to say and to just this is real. And this was not easy for me. This whole process of denouncing my apostleship and stuff going on with I mean everything was just simultaneous. And it wasn't just with him. My son-in-law got attacked. You know, he works with Tyler Perry and he got attacked. He, he's sick. You know, I pray in the name of Jesus, he's going to get better. It has been one thing after another. I said, oh, you coming after my family? You coming after me? That's going to just make me fast and pray more so. Because I have a covenant with the Lord thy God. Let me tell you something. I'm going to get up off of here. Everybody like to talk about the book of Job. What happened? What didn't happen? But through all that, you know what I learned from Job? He never lost his faith. The enemy is after your faith, people. I don't care what you go through. I don't care what God allow. He's after your faith. You can never lose faith. Because if you lose faith, God says, without faith, it is impossible to please me. He's after your faith. And, and don't lie. Sometimes it gets hard. You're like, God, I don't understand. Why is this happening? Okay. All right. God bless you. God keep you. This is Prophetess Dean Dixon. Y'all know what time it is. Roll our soldiers, for that is truly who we are. Let's begin to walk like it, talk like it, act like it, and be like it. It's time to walk in what God has called you to be and who God has called you to be. Hallelujah. God bless you all.